So we're on the land right now. Catalpa has been hauled out for one month and we've been on the land. We have two months to go till hurricane season is over and Catalpa is ready to go back in the water and sailing and adventuring again. So that's exciting, counting down the days. If you're new, my name's Bella, I'm 16 years old and I live in a sailboat sailing the world with my family. You say take me on a treasure hunt When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me So we're on the land right now and this is what my day kind of looks like. Later. Oh, back in aircon. Oh. So this is a story about the time where we were just floating around on our sailboat home, not checked into any country. So as most of you would know, in 2020, there was a thing called the coronavirus and the world shut down. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. More than 3 billion people in almost 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home. 2020 will be the toughest year of our lives. So when that happened, my family and I were in Malaysia. We live in a sailboat sailing the world. And at the time we were in Malaysia on our old boat, Catalpa. So we had been in Malaysia for a year. Dad was flying back and forth to Australia working and we were fixing up our boat to continue sailing. And then that's when the world decided to shut down and you weren't allowed to go into any new countries. So we stayed in Malaysia for some of COVID but then a country opened up for sailboats and that was the Seychelles. So we got ready to leave Malaysia and we were planning to sail from Malaysia down to Indonesia and then sail across the Indian Ocean to the Seychelles. So we left Malaysia and headed off down through Indonesia so that we could get to the right angle to sail across to the Seychelles so that we could go there. Our old boat was a concrete boat. It was 44 foot, not very seaworthy, a little bit sketchy to be on. So as we were sailing down, there was a big storm and we were out in the ocean at the time. So, you know, you just get through the storm, bash through it till you get to your anchorage. We pulled into our anchorage after bashing into some pretty big seas and we noticed that there was a big crack on the front of Catalpa and we're like, oh no, that's not good. So, we then started contemplating whether we should be crossing such a big ocean. The Indian Ocean is a pretty big ocean. So then we decided that we probably shouldn't be crossing the Indian Ocean in this boat because we may not make it. So with that decision being made, we then realized, well, there's no other countries that we can actually check into at the time. We could go back home to Australia, 
but at the time the winds would be against us. So the only other option was to sit and wait in Indonesia illegally. So that is what we did for four months. We stayed in the Banyaks area on the Sumatra coast for four months waiting to figure out a plan whether to sail back to Australia, check into Indonesia, wait for the world to open up. So yeah, that's what we did and I mean, let me tell you, it was a pretty good time. It's absolutely beautiful. Crystal clear water, tropical islands, palm trees, the whole lot. Amazing surf. So it was four months pretty much in paradise. We didn't go into any big towns or cities because we were illegally there so we kind of just stayed out at the islands eating what we had stocked up on in Malaysia and catching fish and coconuts and there was a little village where we would get fruit and vegetables from so yeah it was a pretty great time and it was pretty fun we kind of just spent our days in the water surfing diving spearing a little bit scared that we may get caught but other than that it was pretty great so eventually Indonesia ended up opening up again for tourists to come in so we then sailed down to Jakarta where we checked into Indonesia after being there four months illegally and everything was okay no one questioned us about where we were for four months just floating about and um, yeah, we got our Indonesian visa, which was great because then we spent another year there. Obviously, we didn't plan to be there illegally. It was an accident. We thought we'd be sailing to the Seychelles, but no, that did not happen. So that is the story of how we spent four months illegally in Indonesia. It was a pretty great place to be stuck. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Bye.